Today we're going to be talking about the biggest ancient structure ever made by man. So, and it, and I'm not saying this big. It's it's so big that it's 13,000 miles long. And that is called the the Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China began here. It was built by the Emperor by Emperor Quid. So, this is the longest wall ever built, 30,000 miles long, 2,300 years old, and it was built in 221 BC. So there's a myth that you can, if you go to the moon, you can see Great Wall of China, but it's not true. So, so that's why they call it a myth. Okay, where were we? Oh yeah, so um, Great Wall of China, it was built in 221 uh, BC. When when an emperor when Emperor Quin killed all the lords uh, and united China, so he's called the first emperor of China. And Emperor Quin he wanted the, his empire to be called China. He wanted it to be named after him. That's why we call it today as China. People could not come from here because of the Pacific Ocean. They couldn't come from here because of the uh, because of the uh, mountains, Himalayan mountains. But they could come from here, Mongolia. That is north, right here. And they couldn't come from the west because of Tuklaman Desert. So they were able to come from north. So barbarians and nomads would come to China. The nomads would settle there and the barbarians would destroy them. So, so uh, Emperor Quinn did not want that. So he told his ministers to build a wall, but, but they said that there was a scarcity of stone. He said, well, you better deal with that. So, so they they were thinking day after day. They were thinking, well, how could they build this wall? Till they had an idea. They would use stone, then they'll use clay, and then they'll use use a build like um like some wood and frame it. So they use uh any whatever resources to build like next to them uh to build a great wall of China. So they use any resources available in that area. So Emperor Quinn died, so he couldn't see the Great Wall of China uh, done building. He died and, and it wasn't even done. So other dynasties would build it and build it. They, will, and they wanted to expand it. And now this day, it is 13,000 miles long. It is so long that you could cross one side to another side of US. And China's not even bigger than the US. The wall isn't not that straight. It's kind of curvy. That's why it could reach from one end to US to the other end. So that's why it's really long. And you wonder, you might be wondering what, why are there houses here? Like why are there towers right here? Well, these are these were called stations because the archers because when the when the barbarians would attack the archers would shoot their arrows at them and they'll shoot the arrows from these stations that's why they're protected from the invasion i'll give you an example so this guy right here and this guy is a barbarian so if they didn't have the wall this guy could come in and invade China, but because of this wall, he couldn't come and the archer people could shoot him like this. <laughs> the historians think that one million people uh, built the wall and whoever died were buried near the wall. Like, if let's say this guy was building and he died, he'd be buried next to the wall right here. The people who worked on the walls were slaves, um, normal people, or enemies. And the reason why they worked there is like the enemies and criminals look there as a punishment and this wall was finally completed by Ming Dynasty who completed the whole entire Great Wall of China. These are all the amazing facts about uh, Great Wall of China.